743. Welcome back to BT on this Friday. The pride of Surrey, BC, Claire Eccles. The spirit of greatness on the BT couch. Welcome. Thanks for having me. And we should say congratulations. What a week it's been. What a journey it's been with you with the game of baseball. Uh, how has the reaction uh, hit? How has it felt uh, knowing you made history in the West Coast Baseball League being the first female player ever to play? It's pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of support from my friends, family, and uh, even fans. So it's, it's quite the honor. What are some of the uh, comments you've received from family, friends, maybe strangers about uh, accomplishing something like this? Uh, just super proud of me, super excited for the season. I've had quite a few tweets sent out about their people's little girls who are playing ball and I'm an inspiration, so I guess that's a pretty good feeling. And uh, Russell K used to be your coach. He let us know about your cool, calm, collected demeanor. Uh, and it's simply incredible taking a look at the journey. And we have some of the video, too, about this day. Tell us about the feeling, walking out of the tunnel for the first time, what it was like in the dugout with the guys, and then the reaction when you uh, actually got to take them out. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was in the bullpen for the first game. I didn't, I didn't play, but the second game I hung out in the dugout a bit with all the field players and then went back out to the bullpen and as I was warming up they're all just giving me little pep talks and saying oh you can do this and they're 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 awesome my teammates and coaches are all awesome so and as we're looking at some of this footage uh, simply incredible uh, the category that I've heard given to you is a knuckleball pitcher but you have a curb curveball two seam fastball but if you're gonna throw a knuckleball that's a tricky pitch there's some nail hardener involved with pulling this off is there not yeah yeah well um, especially if I if I take like a shower and your your nails soften so I uh, need to put it on but it, it lasts for a while so um, but it's sort of weird if your nail breaks then you can't really pitch a knuckleball so yeah i need that sometimes we've got to prepare accordingly yeah exactly and because of that knuckleball pitch you got the attention of major league baseball pitcher and former toronto blue jay r.a dickey yeah. and we have that tweet yeah. uh where were you and what did you think when r.a dickey takes to twitter congratulating you for what you did uh I w it was just after another interview so i was actually driving on my way to ubc with the media guy len um, but so he ha he was on his phone and uh, he just said, all right, Dickie tweeted at you. And that was the first time it sort of hit me that this is bigger than I thought it would be. Um, just because I didn't think that it would reach out to even MLB players. So that I was I was in shock, I'd say. Well, it's a story everybody's talking about in baseball. And when the Victoria Harbor Cats make the call and say, hey, Claire, do you want to play for this team? Does it go through your head that maybe this is a publicity stunt or I'm going to get legitimate playing time? Like what went on with that decision to, to participate in the league? Yeah, when the GM, Brad Norris Jones, when he called me, that was one of the first questions that I had for him was, is this just all for show? And he said, uh, obviously not. Um, he's picking me because I'm, I want to play. Uh, I'm sure it, it has helped with the media a little bit, but um, no, I'll be competing for innings. I'll probably get a chance to pitch in the next series and the following one. So, how a girl. Yeah. And what do you want to ultimately do? Do you think we will see a female player in Major League Baseball in the next five, ten years? Is that the goal? Uh, for me, I don't know. That would be awesome. That I haven't thought that far ahead. I think there will be eventually a female playing in the MLB, most likely a pitcher, but. Um, that I think that would be super cool, whether it's me or anyone, just okay. a woman, yeah. Okay, well, we're not done with you yet because we okay. have a bunch of rapid-fire questions if you're game okay. to play. Yeah, yeah. Let's get to know Claire Eccles, the pride of Surrey, B.C., maybe some music, a clock if we can. 60 seconds, here we go. Favorite video game? Uh, MLB. Favorite food, Greek or Italian? Italian. Favorite Blue Jay? Uh, Kevin Pillar. Ah, okay. Favorite uh, baseball player? Ichiro. Oh, Suzuki. Favorite yeah. TV show? Uh, Jane the Virgin. Ooh, binge watching or what? Uh, yeah, I finished it. Nice. <laughs> Biggest pet peeve? Uh, when, when people like click their fingernails. Sorry, I'll try and avoid that. Uh, first <laughs> concert you ever went to? Um, Coldplay. Ooh, and they're coming to BC Place. Favorite song to walk out to the mound? 
I picked all about girl. I didn't really have one, so. Yeah, so Gwen yeah. Stefani, best advice, you, uh, best advice a coach has ever given you? Uh, <laughs> just go out and throw the ball, throw strikes. All right, and best part of playing baseball, final question. Uh, pitching. Pitching, yeah. and you're doing it well. Claire Eccles, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for having me.